What's up everyone, Justin Lucas, hanging out here on the first cold front that has hit Florida uh, for this season, 2016, 2017. And we are at Lake Okeechobee. Uh, generally, we'd be going to the lake, but it's a cold front. I wanna mix it up a little bit. Never really caught fish in the canals or rivers here. Uh, so we're gonna go try and catch some on a deep crankbait and see how that works out. Let this weather warm up a little bit before we go back to the lake. There's one, cranking those rocks. Got it, some current flowing. All right, sweet. Barely hooked too. All right, dude, trying to boat flip them. Well, hey, it's a cold front. We're trying to have some fun not go out there and beat ourselves up in the wind. So that's number one on the Berkeley dredger, 10 and a half foot diving one. And uh, you can see we're just fishing. There's a lot of current flowing out of these locks right here. And fat little fish, just gorging up on some shad, bunch of bait in the area. And get this hook up here. He's, kinda, he's hooked good, he's barely hooked, he's hooked good. tell by where we're fishing up here. Uh, this isn't typically the type of stuff you fish in Florida, but this is also isn't the, typically the type of gear you wear in Florida. So uh, since we had this big cold front hit, you know, and a strong north wind the past couple days, uh, decided to come up here into one of the rivers and just do a little bit of deep cranking on some of these rocks. You know, these fish a little bit deeper, 10, 14 foot. Uh, won't be as affected by the cold front as those fish on the lake in you know two to five feet of water. That temperature out there dropped uh, like 13, 14 degrees since that cold front. So uh, we're trying to crank some deeper rocks. There's some current, a lot of bait. I found a little spot here where you know there's some rocks that are uh, come up a little bit further, make them a little ledge down there, and gonna go ahead and be a nice current block uh, for those fish. So. That's what that last fish just came off of, uh, 10 and a half foot, Berkeley Dredger, Irish Gold, awesome new crankbait. Definitely a crankbait that's gonna win some big events uh, in the future. David Fritz did a really nice job with those. So we're up here, deep cranking in Florida, and we're gonna try and catch some more for you guys. There's one. Oh, good fish too. Heck yeah, man. I picked up that 14.5 and came back to the 10.5 and hooked up again. So we know what size we're gonna stick with now. Sun's starting to get up. You know, maybe these fish need a little bit, a little bit of warmth too. Now that the sun's getting up, starting to get bit a little more frequently. But this isn't a bad one. That pre-spawn fish, there you go. There's been many times on cold front days in Florida that I would love to have this fish, so. Not bad right there. Yeah, these hooks, man, these uh, Fusion 19s, I guarantee you, you will not find a sharper hook, stock hook, on a crankbait. Come on. There you go. It's happening, you can tell. Eh, they're nice fish though, nice solid fish. When I mean, you get a cold front in Florida, two and a half, three pound fish can be a lifesaver in a tournament. And when you're just trying to have fun, you're not gonna hear me complain. So, another one on the 10.5 Irish Gold, Berkeley Dredger. 
We might be getting on to something here now. Although this isn't, uh, you know, like we talked about, typical way that you would fish in Florida, uh, it kind of actually reminds me of how I won the California Delta uh, last year. You know, if you were fishing a multi multiple day tournament right now, not by any means saying you could win up here, uh, but if you were wanting to be consistent, you had a big cold front come through like this, being able to come up here and catch some two and a half, three pounders cranking, even though that's not the standard way of fishing in Florida this time of year, uh, is not a bad thought, really. You know, I, I would not uh, rule it out. Like I said, just to get that limit, if you could get five, two and a half to three pounders, 13 to 15 pounds, and then you go back to the lake kind of in the afternoon or, you know, mid morning, let that sun warm the mats up where those big ones are gonna be, where they're out there pre-spawn and post-spawning. Uh, you could really have a, you know, you could have a couple good tournament days doing this. So it might seem funny that we're up here uh, fishing like this, but I'll tell you what, multiple day tournaments, cold front in Florida, got to think outside the box a little bit. And especially if you're on the elite series or any multiple day tournament. Uh, so I'm not, I wouldn't totally rule this out as a possible pattern for a tournament at this point. So obviously the wind is, you know, it's, it's ripping pretty good. We're up here protected and uh, it's still blowing very well. So uh, a couple things and reasons the fish I believe are up here. Uh, number one, I, I would say that there's probably always a population of fish around any kind of dam or lock, something like that. Especially when there's current, like you can see coming out of this dam right now. Uh, that's just gonna bring a lot of bait fish into the area. And then when you've got good cover, like just the riprap right here, the rocks. Uh, plenty of spots for them to hide in the rocks, eat crawfish if there's in the rocks, but more importantly, probably eat the bait that's getting washed around this area. So uh, you can catch, you know, you could say they're pre-spawners up here, they're fat, nice healthy fish, chunky little guys. Um, but you know, they're, they're probably more resident fish than anything. I don't think they swam up here just today. You know, these are fish that live in this area, so. If you're struggling to get a bite on a lake, you know, an area like this might just be a good, good place for you to go try just to put a couple fish in the boat and kind of get the juices flowing for the day. All right, so the gear that I'm using today, uh, really, I mean, one of the most important things is the rod. It's a seven foot three medium Iconelli rod uh, by Abu Garcia. It's the Delay Action Series, and those are built specifically uh, for treble hooks. So crankbaits, small jerk baits, that kind of stuff. Um, but they've got a, a very nice parabolic bend, uh, got some glass in the rod, and just allow you to fight those fish really well. You can tell just by the two fish I had hooked, barely hooked, that I didn't have a problem uh, getting them in, and that's honestly thanks to this rod. And then we're doing 12 pound Berkeley Trilene, 100% uh, fluorocarbon. Of course, the 10 and a half foot dredger, Irish gold has been the color so far. And uh, Abu Garcia Revo Winch cranking reel. It's a five, four to one. So it really allows me to crawl this bait over the rocks and get the bites. Kind of entice them into biting and not reel it too fast past their face. And then we're using this uh, Minn Kota four track. So you can see where we're fishing. It's pretty windy. And we also have a lot of current and the two fish I've caught I've uh, been sitting here with the trolling motor on spot lock and I don't even have to worry about it. It's going to hold us right where we're at and I can continue to make the same exact cast in a row. So this thing is, uh, if you've heard about it being a game changer, you have not been lied to. It is one of the biggest innovations I've seen since I've been involved in bass fishing. Hey everyone, thanks for checking in to this week's vlog. As always, all the gear that I use is available on Tackle Warehouse. You guys make sure to like, share, and tag a friend in this post, and you'll be entered for this week's uh, gear giveaway presented by Berkeley and Abu Garcia. You guys make sure to check out next week's vlog as well. We'll see you next time. Wow. <laughs> oh my. For any of your hard baits out there, and remember, these things do come stock on the Berkeley hard baits, so uh, just a superior a magnet on the belly. It's gonna hold your hook in place. You're literally gonna be able to catch 20, 30, I don't know. How